Hey, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B2023. This was semifinals round two, problem four. We have the integral of sine four arctan x dx. Okay, and the first thing that comes to mind here is there's actually two good ways to do this that I can think of anyway. Uh, the first one would be a u substitution. What you could do is you can make a u substitution just for arctan, and that would be pretty straightforward and would work fine, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and actually just kind of try to break down this whole expression and see if we can simplify it before integrating. So what I wanna do is take this expression, I'm just gonna write it as sine 4t, where t is just gonna be our arctan of x, but then I can also write this as sine two times 2t in order to use our double angle formula for sine. And so doing that, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have two sine 2t cos 2t. But then what I can do is just use the double angle formula for sine again, and I can also use the double angle for cosine here. So let's see what we're gonna have. We'll have two for sine of 2t, we're gonna have two sine t cos t. And then here, the double angle for cosine, I'll use this version of it. We'll say this, we'll call this cosine squared t minus sine squared t. And then I'll just multiply that out. So two times two is gonna be four, of course, and then we'll multiply sine and cosine times cosine squared, and we're gonna have sine t cosine cubed t. And then distributing to this other term, we're gonna have here minus four sine cubed cosine t. Okay, now I have this separated the way I want it, but one thing I wanna do before I put this back into the integrals, we wanna get everything back into x, because remember, I'm not doing a u substitution, we're just gonna keep it in x. So I'm just gonna need an expression for our sine t and our cosine t. And so our t value is actually gonna be arctan of x. And so what I can do is rearrange this, and we can say that x equals tan of t. So with t as our angle, let's draw our right triangle and see if we can get our sine t and cosine t values. So we'll draw this right triangle. That's, that's pretty terrible, but okay. But here's the angle t. And so if tan t equals x, we can write this as x over one. So opposite over adjacent can be x and one. And so our hypotenuse, just using Pythagorean theorem, is gonna be square root of x squared plus one. But now we can get a value for sine t and cos t. So sine t is just opposite over hypotenuse, so that's gonna be x over square root of x squared plus one. And then we can get our value for cosine of t. That's just gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's gonna be one over square root of x squared plus one. So now I can just take these values that we found right here and we can plug it back into this equation and see what we have. So we'll have our four up front here. Our sine t is gonna be x over square root of x squared plus one. And then cosine t is gonna be this one over square root of x squared plus one. And this is gonna be cubed. Then we're gonna have a minus four here. Sine cubed, that's gonna give me an x cubed. We'll have this x squared plus one cubed here, run out of space. And then we're gonna have cosine t, which is gonna be one over square root of x squared plus one. Well, then I can just factor a four out of both these terms. So in each of these terms, we actually have the same denominator because we have this square root cubed times one. So we have this square root of x squared plus one to the fourth. That's actually gonna give me x squared plus one squared. Then from this term here, we just have an x. And then from this term, we're just gonna have a minus x cubed. Then I'm just gonna change the sign on this and bring a minus out. So then from here, I'm gonna have minus four out front. I'm gonna factor an x out of this. And then we're gonna have just x squared minus one over x squared plus one squared. But then knowing I wanna integrate this, some cancellation would be really nice. What I'm gonna do is actually, we have x squared minus one here. I'm gonna force this. So let's just force this to be x squared plus one, but in order so I don't change it, we'll subtract off a two. So then let me just separate this into two fractions. So I'm gonna have minus four out front. Here we're gonna have our x over x squared plus one over the denominator. So that'll be our first one. Then for the second term, I'm gonna distribute the minus four to the minus two. So with plus eight out in front, we just still have this x, and this is gonna be over x squared plus one squared. But at this point, now I think I have two things that I can integrate, so I'm gonna split this into two integrals. This is gonna be our first integral, and this is gonna be our second integral. So what I'm gonna do now is just write these as two separate integrals that we can do, and we'll continue from there. Okay, so after doing quite a bit of algebra, we've arrived at these two integrals, and let's see if we can simplify these a little bit more and finish it off. So what I can do here, first of all, with this x squared plus one is we can cancel one of these with one of these. And then at this point, I think we can do a quick u substitution. So I guess we didn't avoid the u substitution altogether. So let's just do this now. I think I can do the same u substitution for both these integrals. So what I wanna do for my u is just call u equal to x squared plus one. Then taking the derivative, our du is gonna be just two x dx. And then as we have x in the numerator here and here, what I can do is multiply by a two, 
and divide by two here, so I'll change it. And then I can actually do the same thing right here, multiply by two and divide by two. So then when I make the substitution first over here, we're gonna have minus two up front. Our numerator here is just du, so we're gonna have just du over u for this one. Then here, dividing two into eight, we're gonna have a four out front. And then for this integral, we're just gonna have du over u squared, but I'm gonna write that as u to the minus two du. And then we can just integrate this. So we're gonna have minus two, natural log, absolute value u, plus four, this will be u to the minus one. And then we'll have a minus side we need to bring up front, so let me just change that to a minus. And then all we need to do now is just back substitute with our u value to finish this off. So for our final solution, we're gonna have minus two, natural log of x squared plus one, I'll drop my absolute value because this is always positive. Then we're going to have minus 4 over our u value, x squared plus 1 plus c, and that's it. We're done. Thanks again for watching today. Have a great day.